Glad she was gone. <laughs> Got a cameraman this time. Ish. <laughs> yeah, welcome up data phone again. Woo! <laughs> new, new office. Well, not new, it's an updated office, but yeah, we might as well get started. E3. Everyone's been talking about E3 and it's always about the two consoles. Which one would you rather buy? The PS4 or the Xbox One? Well, it's easy for me. Xbox One, not a chance. Not a damn chance. Here's why. First off, I first, well, everyone was like, oh, it's got this new, uh, what's it, you have to play it every 24 hours system, where it's like, oh, okay, right, once every 24 hours. If not, I thought it, was, it says your account gets deleted. Totally wrong. It's not your account that gets deleted. It's the entire gaming system on the Xbox One gets shut down. So which means you'd spend 429 quid. You don't play it for one day. It's just a gigantic, possibly a doorstop to most people. So I'd, I'd even use it for a doorstop if my door actually was a door. Not one of these sliding doors. Uh, also, there's the charging costs for selling games and buying pre-owned games. It said it's going to be 50 quid per game, so it's like if I sell a game, well, if I buy a 50 quid game, I have to put another 50 quid, quid towards it just to say, this sucks, it's balls, I don't like it, go away. And then if I buy it from the shop, it's like 45 quid pre-owned, I was like, alright, that's okay. I've got to spend another 50 quid just to make sure that it works on my console. So, Xbox is not helping. And there's lots of rumours. People said why this is happening. Some have said this is like the whole uh, new Pepsi to Pepsi Classic. If you've not known that, what it is, was what they're doing is they're going to bring out this console. It's not going to do well. It's not going to sell well. So they're going to say, right, we've brought out the, a newer console, a newer Xbox One. And what it is, is actually what it should have been what it should have been from day one but we decided not to go with it and then they're going to say alright but it's going to be half the price it's going to be something like this and then they'll be like oh we trust Microsoft again we're gullible fools <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, all, it's going to be like that or there's other rumours saying that this is Microsoft's way of saying we've had enough of making console gaming I mean I don't know why you do that just say we've had enough screw it we, we, we concede we give up or just, you know, to say, well, taking a break. We are taking a break. We're going to, or even say, what would you like? Ask the audience, what would you like of this new console? I mean, I'd like it to be a games console, not a freaking laptop-based console. I mean, if I wanted a laptop, I'd buy a laptop. Or a phone. I mean, that now can get Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I know it doesn't have Skype, because you have to use that FaceTime thing, but it's the same thing. Anyway, a uh, new series coming, um, I'm doing a new Minecraft series, it's going to not be called, well it's still going to be minecraft fun but it's not going to be fully called minecraft fun I'm going to name it something like Moroncraft or something like that. It's just going to be me on survival mode, 24, well, not 24-7, but non-stop, so if I die, I die, and I'll be like effing blind and probably want to punch the screen or punch a creeper in the face and then blow up again because I punched a creeper in the face. Don't know why I did that, it's just it's one of those things you gotta do. Uh, also new series, top fives and top tens. Uh, I've been watching people do top fives and top tens, mostly it's top tens, and it's like, oh, top ten shooting games, and it's always a card game. I mean, I won't mind a top t top ten shooting games that has nothing to do with card or battlefront. I mean, I can actually name one right off the bat, and probably you could fill up the entire list with cards of top 10 shooting games. Two, I've already recorded a couple of episodes so you don't have much to worry about but if you want to uh, submit any ideas please do in the comment section down here. Uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, yeah, Next week, depending on when you watch this, but it's the 22nd and the 23rd of June. It's uh, the Le Mans 24 hour. This is in real life, <coughs> not in the gaming world. But <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do a couple of Le Mans 24-hour games on, well, it's going to be uh, one on the Le Mans 24-hour game on the PS2 and another one on Grid. Both of them are going to be 24 minutes each because I want to keep it to one episode so it'd be easier. Uh, if I Probably next year I might actually do the 240 minutes for the PS2 game and I don't know how 
probably like two hours or something like that on grid, depending on what is there. Uh, July. Because it's uh, a special, well, July is going to be a bit special, as you can see from here. It will be my dad's, my late dad's anniversary. Well, it will be his birthday on July, so I thought, instead of just doing one game on his birthday, I thought for the entire month I choose all of his favourite games. So it's like, some of these you might remember, like Buster Move, New Zealand Story, Rainbow Island, uh, Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus, Railroad Tycoon, Civilization. If I can remember any other games he used to play on it, I'll be playing on that and probably make him proud and probably get him in the ear going, No, it's that way, you fool! Like he always used to do. Uh, August. Now, it's, these are the proper Game of Fun vids. Um, these are online. Uh, for the 2nd and the 3rd of August, we have got Grid 2. This is on the Xbox 360, Grid 2. I've half an hour for this game, but it is a good game. It's worth buying. Uh, then from there on it is a exclusive, console exclusive, so it's from the 9th to the 10th it is Uncharted 3. Uh, if you have a PlayStation, play on Uncharted 3. If you don't, then screw you. <laughs> uh, 16th and 17th it's Halo 4. I know I've done a Halo 4 one before, but I just could not think of any other Xbox 360 exclusives that were available to play. Uh, 23rd and 24th of August, it is God of War Ascension. I've never played the multiplayer, I've heard it's really good. And at the same time, it's not good, but I've never played it before, so I might play on it uh, before you know this such, before I do the vids, because, but I'm still going to play on it anyway, just to get the hang of it. And the 30th and 31st, it is Forza 4. I might just do the, uh, either the endurance races or like the Le Mans, cars so it's just going to be me in like a Bentley Speed 7 or Peugeot 905. Alright that is it for this week, for this, these three months I should say. So uh, if you have any complaints uh, that's your decision to make.